Hello everyone, Heidi Blankenship here for Just Right Paper Craft with Tutorial Tuesday. And today I'm going to be sharing um, some more water coloring techniques with you. And um, the main focus today, uh, we're going to be working with two of the new stamp sets. These are actually October releases, but you're going to get a little sneak peek of them here in the video. And this is a new background stamp and it's the Boca Polka Dots. Okay. And then the second stamp set here. This one here is called Book It Time. And this is a clear stamp set. And there's actually 48 clear stamps here. So, and the sentiments are love grows by giving, let your dreams take flight, believe in miracles, smile, focus on things that matter, you are amazing, the best things in life aren't things. And then down here, if we flip this around, it says follow your bliss. So, and it has a combination of circles and stars and some hearts and stuff and um, a really great stamp set to do the bokeh techniques with. So, okay. And then I'm just going to show you the different backgrounds that we'll be creating today. And the other thing I'm going to be focusing on is using watercolor with some coarse, coarse kosher salt. So this is a really neat, uh, neat technique with the uh, watercolors and stuff. And I'll just pour a little bit out here so you can see. It's very coarse. Okay, so we'll be doing some techniques with that. Okay, and here's the first one. This one here is just your basic um, watercolor in the background. I use two different colors of blue. I use the same colors on all the cards here, but I use the two different colors of blue. And then once the watercolor was dry, I used um, the, the stamps to come in and uh, do the different stamping and give it kind of that bulk look. The other thing you want to keep in mind when you are stamping on watercolor paper, um, it's not completely smooth like the paper that you're probably used to stamping on. So sometimes you are going to get some little spots where it doesn't stamp completely clear all the way, but that's okay. So, um, for, especially for this technique. So, and when you're doing the stamping, you will see me in the video where, uh, when I'm using the larger circles, I'm stamping off to the side to remove a little bit of the ink. And then I stamp several times and you want to do that so that you get, um, the appearance of layers of the circles. So you have the really light, the darker ones, and that will create the depth in your card. So, Okay, and then this one here and this one, these were both background techniques. This is just an extra one. This is one that I actually did yesterday when I was kind of playing around a little bit. But uh, same watercolors as in the first one here. And uh, I sprinkled some of the salt on when the paper was wet. And on this one you can kind of see there's little speckles in the background. And that's the salt wasn't quite as wet on this one but if you wet the salt which I did I wet it on this first one here but if you wet it a little bit more you're gonna have more of kind of that star burst or um, where it's gonna um, the paint will kind of feather out from wherever the salt was and stuff so and then on this piece here I used the background stamp and then I used um, some other little stamps from the clear stamp set and the same with this one here. I, this one is from the clear stamp set. So, and then this here is just an added little bonus, just something kind of fun that you can do. Um, you'll see in the video, I have a little pile of the salt that came off of this background here. And um, if you want, you can make a really muted kind of speckly background. You just, all you do is take your plain watercolor paper and you mist it with water, get it nice and wet and then sprinkle your little uh, salt granules that have the watercolor on them and then mist it again with water and let it sit and once it's dry you can rub it off and then you'll get this for here for a background so just a little something extra that you can do with the salt so okay and uh, we'll get started with the video and then at the end of the video I will show um, all of these backgrounds here they will actually be finished cards so let's get started.
Okay, let's take a look at the finished cards. And here's the one where I did the basic watercolor background and then used the stamps from the clear stamp set. And I just stamped a sentiment down here, added a few sequins, and a little die cut arrow. And then this one here was <clears throat> the same background and with the watercolor. And then I used the background stamp and then a couple of the stamps from the clear stamp set too. And then the sentiment. And then up here, I used uh, some of the little circles from the clear stamp set. And the darker color, that's the first time that I stamped. And then I just kept repeating stamping going lighter and lighter. And when you do that, that adds some dimension. And I just added a little uh, sheer, this is a, like a light blue sheer bow. And then like a little bling center there. And a few little rhinestones. Okay. And then this here was the same technique as this card, using the salt with the watercolor. And then I just did some stamping over the top, stamped the sentiment, and then put some little sequin stars on there. And then this is the last card. <clears throat> and if you remember this one, this was where we took the salt that was colored from the watercolor from doing these two, uh, these two techniques right here, and just put that on the watercolor paper and then misted that with water. So I just put the sentiment on there and then a little feather die cut and some rhinestones. So very simple basic cards. But that gives you a few different ideas of what you can do with um, the background stamps and the new clear stamp set and with the watercolors. So if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them on the Just Right Inspiration blog or in the comment section down below. And if you like the video and the tutorials, if you could give us a thumbs up, we'd really appreciate it. And also don't forget to check out the Just Right um, Papercraft website for uh, so you can see like all of the new stamp releases. And then also when you click on the image of the stamp set, it'll show you down below different sample cards that the design team has made. So, so anyways, thanks so much for stopping by today. Bye-bye.